Hello there. So towards the start of Xenoblade 3, we're given a flame clock mechanic that says it'll go down over time and up from defeating enemies. Many have stated they never saw it go down past a certain point, and only an hour or two later it goes away anyway, so I've always wondered. Does the flame clock actually do anything? And can it run out? So, as I started off with uh, defeating some enemies, as you can see it does go up. Not by a lot, but it has. I uh, didn't really do too much grinding to see what happens if you max out the flame clock. Because my main focus was to drain it dry. Man, I'm just doing the console's job for them, aren't I? So I started standing around doing nothing to see how much the flame clock would drain. Oh, for Spark's sake! It goes down a tiny bit every real-time hour. That is way too slow. So let's try something else. Dying. I activated the Shark's Jaw Cape landmark and dropped to the lake below so I could keep dying to some level 50 monsters. Oh! It's actually going down faster! Well, time to repeat this process however many times I need. This should go by smoothly. Oh! Breakthrough moment! I just got an attack down debuff because of the flame clock was down. So that's a legitimate thing that can happen. Though I didn't bother to test it, I'm assuming you can get an attack up buff if the cl flame clock is filled past a certain point? Oh well. Now the next step. Can the flame clock go all the way down to zero? And do you get some kind of game over from it? We're getting so close, I can taste it! I just realized I'm getting excited over the prospect of killing off Colony 9. Yippee! So I underwent many deaths. My lengthy quest has finally come to an end. You can actually deplete the flame clock to zero. There's nothing left. So what happens? Absolutely snuff all. I think they just thought nobody would be stupid enough to try something like this. <sighs> what a waste of time.